welcome Wi-Fi Alliance and its member partners like Meta, Intel and HPE welcomes you to this Wi-Fi 6 GHz demo. The goal of the demo is to show the clear benefits of having the entire 1200 MHz spectrum in the 6 GHz band versus only having the lower 500 and the potential it has to grow tomorrow's healthcare and also makes Thailand competitive with the rest of the world. In terms of the setup, let me walk you through really quick. We have this Intel Wi-Fi 6E and Wi-Fi 7 laptops. We have the Meta Quest Pro headset. We have our member partners from Wi-Fi Alliance. And up top you see is the HPE Aruba Wi-Fi router. In terms of the use cases, what you see on this big screen is here is an 8K video running. It's a dummy video because the hospital today do not have the 8K video, but their vision is to produce the 8K video course material for the student. Here on the screen, you see the different graphs, shows you the speed, throughput, and the latency when we have the different scenarios on the network. On the third, what you see is Dr. Benita is teaching students anatomy using the VR applications that they have developed using the MetaQuest Pro headset. On the last screen, what you see is a hospital course material being played where students watch that every day. In terms of the user experience, if you see for all the use cases, it's really good even if you have the lower 500. Why? because there are only very few users on the network. When the network gets congested, when you have the several hundred students being on the network at the same time, that is the next experience we wanna show you. So team, can we please get to that experience? So what we have now is the lower 500 spectrum. However, with the several hundred students using the spectrum at the same time, using the same use cases. As you can see about this use case, the video is already buffering. What you see on the graph in terms of the throughput, the throughput is lower than 600 megabits. However, I wanted to zoom in on the latency. Look at the latency. It's almost 260 milliseconds. That's really, really bad. But what bad means is I want to show you in real life. If you zoom in to what Dr. Benita is doing, she's playing with the object. I want you to focus her movement versus how fast or slow. See, the video is frozen. The casting she is doing is already frozen. She is moving, but the object is not moving with her speed. It's showing you the impact of latency in real world and how broken experience the student has while learning if you only had the lower 500. What I want to show you next is if you had the entire 1200 megahertz spectrum, same number of users, but what the user experience looks like. The team, can we get to that scenario where we have the entire 1200 megahertz spectrum? So what we have now is same number of students, which we had in the earlier scenario, several hundred students using the same applications. But what I want to walk you through next is their user experience even in severely loaded network with the entire 1200 megahertz spectrum. If you look at the first use case, it was frozen. It's not frozen anymore. It's super smooth. In terms of the latency, if you look at the latency here, they are almost close to 30 milliseconds. Earlier, it was close to 230 milliseconds. What this good latency means is I want you to focus on Dr. Benita. Now she's teaching the students again, but look at her movement and look at the casting. It is so smooth that as soon as her hand moves, the object on the big screen moves almost simultaneously. No lag at all. What we want to do next is we want to thank Dr. Sritara, the president of the Mahidol University, we want to thank Dr. Benita and the entire team of Ramati Bodhi Hospital for making this trial possible. We want to thank Dr. Sarana and entire NBTC team for opening up the trial license for the 1200 megahertz spectrum and opening up the lower 500 for an entire Thailand. 
and of course USTDA as well for partially funding the trial. We look forward to seeing all of you really soon in the demo area. Thank you.